it's a tradition that's been around since 1907, and so uh, everyone on campus knows about the Yale leaders. Those cousin kissing, hanky panky, country bumpkin, Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, you know, kind of unlike other schools, we you know we don't have cheerleaders. We just have the Yale leaders, and we operate a little bit differently. I think the coolest thing about being a Yeller is the opportunity to represent Texas A&M on the road like we're doing tonight. Just like we bring the 12th man to away games, we bring our Yell practice with us. So it's just an opportunity for us to get together on the road. We firmly believe A&M that the 12th man does join the fight. And so this is an opportunity for that. So by golly, I'm joining that fight. If the coach needs us, we're going to jump into the, the, the stance. And the way that we let him know that is we scream and shout the entire game. Squad first! Squad right! And say we're here just in case you need us. Rah, 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 T -A -M -C, rah, rah, rah. Excitement is going to rise, and certainly around campus. Last week we had over 40,000 students attend the game, which is a NCAA record. Fighting Tex Aggie, at least our coach doesn't wear cargo shorts. I feel like Bama and, and Saban and their evil witch hats have really gone down the bad road of being the most hated team in Texas. Fighting Tex Aggie, let's make Lennon and Tuscaloosa an Aggie tradition. People come around want to take pictures. It's us and, and our beautiful dog. So uh, I don't know about being popular, but I, I sure enjoy being able to do this with Texas right now.